Now there's three aspects to an innovator. It's a little bit technique, but it's mostly mindset and lifestyle. Now we've already started on the technique. I shared with you the technique of saying, asking yourself the question, what would I do if the opposite were true? That's a technique. Now the other parts are the mindset. So let's start with identifying what creativity is or what innovation is. When you hear that word, innovation, or you hear that word creativity, what's the first thing that comes to mind? What's the first word that pops in your head? Anyone? Invention. Say it again. Invention. Invention. Very good idea. Very good answer. What else? Necessity. Change. Necessity. Very good. And what else? Imagination. Imagination. And these are all aspects of creativity and innovation, but let's boil it down to its bare essence and what do you get? Problem solving. Innovation is all about one thing and one thing only, and that is solving problems. And when are you most likely to solve a problem? Well, when you're forced into it, when suddenly your back's up against the wall and you've got to fix something with spit and a prayer. Hey, isn't that what duct tape and WD-40 was invented for? And, that, and who said necessity? Because there's that proverb that we have heard dozens of times throughout our lives, necessity is the mother of invention. Now, I would like to share with you a story of necessity that was told to me when I was in third grade by my third grade teacher. And the imagery in it was so vivid that I've never been able to shake it from my head. Now, she was telling of a time when she lived in California and how she went to the beauty salon to get a permanent put in her hair. And so they put the solution in. She's sitting there waiting for it to set when all of a sudden the room started to shake, glass started to break, and people started to scream. And yes, it was an earthquake. Well, once the room settled down, everybody jumped up and ran outside. And she goes up to her stylist and says, don't I need to get this stuff out of my hair? And he goes, oh yeah, you need to get that out of your hair. She says, well, let's go wash it out. He goes, I'm not going back in there. And she goes, oh, come on, you big baby. So she heads on in there by herself. Now, who can tell me why she needed to get that stuff out of her hair? Her hair will fall out. That is the correct answer, yes. So she goes in there. She goes up to the sink, and she turns the water on, and there was no water. The main had broken. So who can tell me what solution she came up with? Who said it? Say it louder. Has this happened to you before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. This happened to him before. Awesome. The answer is she went to the toilet. And as she stood there looking at the water in the toilet bowl, she had to make a decision. Keep my hair or plunge in the bowl. She plunged. And that image stuck in my little third grade mind forever. So sometimes we are forced into being creative. But the three times we are most likely to be creative are this, necessity, when we're curious, and when we want to make money. But let's extend this concept of necessity a little bit because there's a, a little side road of necessity that I like to call being annoyed into being creative or being irritated into being creative. Because when something's really bugging you, don't you just want to fix it? That's right. It's, isn't it the squeaky wheel that always gets the oil? Well, I would like you to think about the various tasks that you do throughout the day, whether it's at work or at home. Because I know there's at least one that you absolutely hate to do. Yeah, and if you hate to do it, there are probably countless other people that hate doing this as well. Which means it is ripe for opportunity. This is an opportunity for a little innovative thinking. Because if you can come up with a better solution, you might have a million dollar idea on your hands. Now speaking of million dollar ideas, I'd like to share with you a quote from Thomas Stenberg. Thomas Stenberg is the founder of many successful businesses. But probably the only one you've ever heard of is Staples Office Supply Stores. Thomas Stenberg once said, I get my best ideas for coming up with a new business from having been frustrated as a customer. Wow, 
That's like a map for opportunity. It's like a roadmap to find opportunity. I want to repeat that. I get my best ideas for starting a new business from having been frustrated as a customer. Where have you been frustrated as a customer? Yeah. Could you fix it? Is there possibly another business in your future right now? Or how about this? How is your competition frustrating their customers? Can you find that out? You can take them all away. Or, one last, how are you frustrating your customers? Oops. Ask them, they'll tell you, and you can fix it. And save those customers and get more. Okay, I have just shared like what? Two or three million dollar ideas in the last two minutes? I want commissions. <laughs>